matron take them away. Okay, guys, hope you're well. Um, it's currently oh. quarter past eight at night, UK time. And I'm often asked, when can you trade? When's the best time to trade? Well, you can actually trade any time you like, to be honest. And I'm kind of going to put it to the test, but there are certain things you need to look for. And that's something we're going to find out right now. Okay. So if I flick this over, what we're looking at here is the US tech. Why? because it's active at this time and it's probably going to go into a flurry for the last hour and hour and a bit of the New York session. Now you can look at different elements, sort of indices. So I always group all of my indices together so I can have a good look at what's going on. Sell, 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 sell and sell. So is it not a fair assumption that this might be selling as well if they're all selling. Also, we can see strong directional drives. Now, let me build this up for you into key moments. What can we see here? Horrendous drop, pushing up, long tail coming down. Now, within this, there is a mega drive. So I want to build up a chart based on what I see. Well, if I pull that up to there, it's pushing into a 38 from a 23. Simple stuff. So could that 38 become a viable target in the near future? Highly possible. Let's put that up there. All right. What about this? Well, let's have a look at it. We can see a definitive top, definitive bottom, and a push down. Okay. Now that started up there, got down to there, and again, what it's showing is that 38 is showing a rejection. Just there. And where can it target to? Well, the 23, which is just there. Simple stuff. Drop this down into a daily. Now what can we see? Well, now we can see the rejection. We can see some levels of attraction. And if I just start looking to switch this on, we can also see a retracement point here to there where it's coming in on a 23 and look where the 38 is. So everything is telling you this can be pushing down. Okay, just put these levels in. Very easy way to find your levels if you know how to pick your fibs out. Now from these fibs, we are seeing excellent points of attraction. If you bear with me, just need to switch everything on. There we go. Happy days. Now that's the daily. Now we can see this was the last major trading day, which is Friday. Huge tail, push down, nothing coming in. Four hour. What's happening here? Strong push up. There's the collapse, and there's a good opportunity to get it onto here and then down to here. Simple stuff. Hourly. Right, what's the hourly telling us? Again, I'm going to draw a fib on this. There's the start of the move. There's the top of the move. 38 to the 50 to the 61. Easy, easy trade. So we're going to mark that in. Key point, the 50. It's a pivot. Put that down to there. 
38 key area of attraction, which is that. And then if we get through, there's your 76. So it's a fully mapped chart. See exactly what's going on with it. What's happening here? Well, it's had a resurgence, rejection, stalling on the fib, and all this is built up from price structure. And if it's built from price structure, it has meaning, has valid. Take this to a 15 minute, what's happening? You can see it's tried, failed, lots of volume coming in, pushing onto this level. This level is going to give us an entry point, which we are going to put into place right now. So if you bear with me, it's going to be a sell order, put fiber or half a lot on, which is just there. Pull that down into this, so we can see where it's trying to get to. Now this is based on a 15 minute chart. It's currently just clicked into trade. So we're gonna move this down onto a five minute, and why? Because we can see the collapse coming in. Now normally I would be candle counting, um, and I'm looking at my other screen, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. This is the area of attraction, giving us that. It's pumped into a quick profit straight away. I expect it to pull back up, which it kind of is. Maybe it's onto the top of this cluster point, and then maybe to the top of here, and then roll over. But the main emphasis is down. So it's not a bad trade, it's an easy trade, built up from what we can see. Now, if I drop this back to 15 minutes, just so that we can have a quick look at this. What you can see is surge, the gap, came away, it came back to fill up that gap, which it's done, to the pip, rejected this top section, shown strength to the downside, and then that's gonna give us the trade, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stage up back to here, but with an aim to go here and get what we can, all right? Very, very simple trade. Um, if you're interested in the way I trade fully, um, this was done naked without any indicators whatsoever. I haven't even got them on my other screen either. It's based on the price momentum and then using key levels in order for that ignition to show me the trade. So very, very simple, and you find all of this in the Scruffy Squad. So let's play this out, and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay guys, there we go. 15 minutes, about 100 quid. So let's have a look, see where we are. Nothing running. There's today's totals, 101 pounds in 15 minutes. Now, if I was wanting to hold this longer, I would have held the stop out and just let it breathe on its way down. But it's the end of the night, and I kind of did it because I was being goaded. 
um, because as normal, um, Popeye's sticking his oar in and actually sticking his oar in to the point where I think, well, what's the point? But then there's another part of me sort of thinks, well, if you say I can't do it, I'm going to show you that I can. Because that's like the arrogant side in me. But there's another side of me just thinks, I can't be chewed. I really can't be bothered. Um, so, well done, you arsehole. You're going to spoil it for everybody. But that's just the way of the world. It really is. But one thing's for sure. I'll still be paid on Friday. The question you've got to ask yourself, you dickhead, is, will you? And I'll put all of my account will say no. Anyway, there we go. It's been a long old day. Kind of, if you see the videos, um, it's all called out before I take the trade. It's broken down before I take the trade. And then when you see the trade, it's in the moment. Now, if that's not me sort of not doing my job, I don't really know where I can go with this. I genuinely don't. So, there we are. So, anyway, happy days. So, as always, guys, trade well, keep the risk managed, and above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.